okay hello guys welcome back to my channel okay uh, so in this uh, in this video we will uh, see how to use google analytics api with our with node.js api okay so first we need to create our uh, new project in a google cloud account okay so let's create one okay okay let's create a let's open it and need okay 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 now now go to console okay and now click on add new project okay and new, and give your project name like uh, here i am going to add like a sample google analytic app okay okay then click on create okay and select your created project from top bar okay now your project is created now go to dashboard okay now our project is created now let's uh, enable <coughs> enable google api for it okay so click on in enable api services okay and here you can search for google analytic api i think okay let's click on here okay so in in here below you can find yes google analytic api click here and click on enable it okay okay now our api is enabled okay 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 so now we need to create a configure a service account so in order to access the google Ana analytic api so let's create one so so go back to your go back to dashboard and from i from im and admin select service account okay and click on create service account okay and so here you need to fill your fill your details like as okay fill your details like a google analytic okay something related to it okay okay and then click on create and continue okay it's okay let's leave it let's click on that okay now our service account is created now we need to also we need to also create keys for it so click on manage keys 
क्लिक ऑन ऐड की क्रिएट न्यू की एंड सिलेक्ट जेसन एज द की टाइप ओके सॉरी ओके 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 सो इट विल डाउनलोड सम जेसन फाइल लाइक दिस इन योर सिस्टम ओके ओके now our service account is created now we need to add the user to google analytics account so let's uh, log in to google analytics so okay so now open your google analytics account and from bottom select admin okay and click on view access management so here you need to account here you need to add user uh, client email from me like uh, copy this and click on add add user and add this okay and make sure you are given the viewer permission okay so we are not not needed to notify new user okay and then click on add okay okay so now our user is added and it's have a viewer viewing permission okay let's close it now click on view setting and copying your view id which we needed later which we needed later okay so while using node.js api okay so our Google Analytics and Google Cloud setup is completed. Now let's move to Node.js part. Okay, so let's go. Now let's set up our Node.js project. So I have already set up some basic Node.js setup, like I have installed a Express package and .env package for managing environment files. Okay, and I have also install at google apis which we, which you can install using npm i google apis command okay okay and now let's in our index file index.js file uh, i have imported express file and uh, google apis and dot env file i installed so first we, we need to use we need to set up the environment files and add the client email and and private key which we have received in our while creating service account we'll say which is something like this okay okay so now now let's uh, add now we need to import google which we have already imported and okay so for accessing the google apis we need to create the jwt so which we can create using this okay so let's add it okay and then we will also need we need to define scopes okay so let's add it okay and also we needed a view id which we have copied from our google analytics account uh, from which we can get from here like this is Okay. okay now okay what's the one thing is missing yep. express now it's now it's proper now now let's use our api so so first we will use this api to get that total wish total wish within 13 last 13 days okay so you can you can this code like like this okay. so here here we first authorize the authorize the api and go get the jw token and once we got the jw token we have this like is within the here and pass our view id start date which is 13 days ago and it which is today 
and matrix okay so now let's call this function let's see the result okay i have also added the start script to run our run our application okay so let's use it So let's run our application using npm run start command. Okay, our application run. Okay, so so you can see here we are getting some response. So in response, you can see this total for all digit, and this is the result, and you can some detailed information in, in this uh, rows object. Okay. So this is how we can get the total page width within some specific dates. Okay. Now let's see some one another example. Let's comment it. Now suppose uh, you want to catch the page the most viewed page from your application. So you can do something like this. Okay. So here we have same pass the JWT, VID, start date, end date, and dimension. Means so uh, what we required in Richie. Okay. So it will give a path and title. And it will be short by sorting descending order. So most viewed page will be first. Okay. And we are we will and max result we are getting 10. Okay. So you can update it. Update it according to your requirement okay now let's run this function also so you can see the result okay, okay. now run our application So we have got the result. So in here, you can in this uh, rows uh, rows tab, rows object, you will get the uh, page title with page views and it's a slug. So it will get. So you can see here uh, it's a ten array, which you can find in result. Okay. So so this is how we can get the total total page views and top page views using the google analytics api okay so and you can if you want to look another options for this api you can look in this url okay okay which shows some example of it which shows some parameters okay so okay so that's it for now so hope you like it and please let me know if you have any question in comment section. Till then, goodbye.